Hey Mzansi, South Africans are really not having a bid already of Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta. In today's video, DNA test on Dr. Nandipa's last child is questioned following reports of conjugal visits with Mr. Besta and South Africans think there is so much more that is supposed to be reviewed. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because I have so much information for you all. Before I give you all the details proper, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit onto my post notification bell. The company in charge of the maximum security prison, G-Force, is facing new allegations that Tabo Besta, who was convicted for rape and murder and is infamously known as a Facebook rapist, was allowed conjugal visits with his partner, Dr. Nandipa, inside the prison. Conjugal visits are not allowed in South African prisons. The Department of Correctional Services has launched an investigation into the allegation. A spokesperson for the department said that inmates were not afforded conjugal visits in the country. But, Tabo Besta. This has raised so many eyebrows already as South Africans think there is something deeper that is being hidden from South Africans. Sources have claimed that Besta was permitted to spend hours with Dr. Nandipa inside a prison because he had allegedly bribed prison officials. G-Force have not yet responded to the allegations. Another inmate reported that the alleged preferential treatment afforded to Besta had been reported to the authorities previously, but nothing had been done. The IOL News posted and I quote, G-Force may again find itself in hot water following fresh allegations that the prison afforded Facebook rapist and murderer Tabo Besta and his controversial lover Dr. Nandipa Magadumana had conjugal visits. Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta allegedly knew each other since 2006 when she was studying at a Witt University. They lost contact in 2011 after Dr. Nandipa was married and Besta was imprisoned on sexual assault and murder charges already. However, Dr. Nandipa started visiting Besta again in 2017 and the pair rekindled their relationship. G-Force also confirmed and affirmed that Dr. Nandipa had been a frequent visitor to the prison since then and had started seeing Besta at the facility. Sometime around last month, if I'm not mistaken, it was still reported that G-Force officials had helped Bester escape from the prison to spend nights with Dr. Nandipa in a five-star hotel in Balito, KwaZulu-Natal, just days before he made his escape in May 2022. It appears that Bester had a nice life in jail and was given preferential treatment due to his alleged bribes to the prison officials. The allegations of conjugal visits with Dr. Nandipa added to growing list of controversies surrounding G-Force management of the prison. You will tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. I love you all.